Hey guys, Mr. Riz here to help you out on the next part of the uh, ellipse notes here. And what we're going to be doing, or our goal is to be able to find the equation of a ellipse giving the center, the vertex, and a co-vertex. So if we kind of remember the general formula that we're going to figure out is like x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. And then we have like an a squared and a b squared equals 1. So these A and B can all depend whether this is a major axis or a minor axis, or, um, and it can kind of flip-flop here too. And sometimes you'll see the orders of them, but make sure that you just understand the vertex that goes up and down, you're going to use that one for that one, and the one that goes left and right, you'll go here. So um, what I'd like to do is to just kind of do a quick sketch of the graph, because um, that will actually help us figure out some other things. So if we know that the center is at, right at 0, 0, and the vertex is at 0, 8, so over 0, up 8. That means the other vertex has to be directly across from that. So if it's 8 units away, it's 8 units away, it'd be at 0, negative 8, meaning the distance between this is 16 or 8 and 8. Then the co-vertex is at 4, 0, so we can go over 4, up 0. And that means the opposite over here would be at negative 4, 0. Okay, and we have a four and a four. So if we end up making basically an ellipse like such. Okay, so let's go through and just plug these numbers in. We got to first plug in our H and K, which we would have X minus H is zero from our center and our K is also zero from our center. Okay, now what we want to do is figure out our A's and B's. So our A, which is, okay, the number associated with the X is the number here, four, left and right, the semi-major axis squared, 16. And then the one that goes up and down, eight, or actually the whole length is 16, but semi is eight, we'll square that, is 64 equals one. So the only thing we can do here is just clean this up. If we have X minus zero squared, that's just X squared over 16. Plus, and then we can say this is y squared over 64 equals 1. So the one thing to note here about the equation is wherever you see the bigger number on the denominator, that's where the major axis is at. And you can see the bigger numbers underneath the y, which means this graph would be y-oriented or a y-axis ellipse. It's a tall, skinny one. All right, why don't you guys give this a second? Try this next one on your own. I'll wait like 30 seconds. You can pause the video and we'll see if we did this right. Okay, let's check this out. You want to do X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared, just like what we had with the circle. But we're going to have dividing by now two different numbers in the ellipse equals one. So our center is at three, one. So it's going to be X minus three squared plus y minus one squared. Okay, what are the numbers that go underneath the x and go underneath the y? Graphing does help us out here. So we have a point at three, one over three up one. Here's the center. All right, our vertex is at three sevens over three up seven. All right, that is six units away. So it means our other covert or other vertices would be six units away. So it'd be over at three, negative five. And then the other vertex is at negative one, one. So it would be over here at negative one, one. Okay, so that is how far away is that? That's four units away. It means we gotta go four units this way, so it would be at add four to the x, that'd be at seven, one. All right, so we have another y-axis symmetry. So that means the bigger number is going to be on the y. But let's go through and look at these numbers. The x number, we're going to take that 4 and square it, and that would be 16. And then the y-axis, we're going to go ahead and take the 6, which is our up and down part, and square that 36. All right, so there's the equation of lips. Okay, guys, so we're definitely taking this section nice and slow. We could go a little faster if we want, but I think this is a good speed. You guys have a great day, and I will see you next time. Adios.